I'm a South Australian at a boat. Oh my God, everything. <laughs> I'm a South Australian at a barrack for both Port and Crows. And the reason for that being I was a diehard Crows fan until Kirk Tippett and Bernie Vince left me. I was crushed when Kirk Tippett left to go to the Sydney Swans. Like, I not only had his number on my Guernsey, I had the last name. So I started barracking for Port because Travis both. And then now I'm just both. I still soft spot for Travis Boak. Love watching him play, but yeah, I'm a crow through and through now. Hi, I'm Ebony Marinoff. I'm from Royal Park, South Australia, and I'm a midfielder. Hello, I'm Ebony Marinoff. I'm midfielder from the Adelaide Crows. This is me, seven seasons on. through that emotion singing the song? It's, it's just really emotional and I just can't believe that we've got here and there's an AFLW league. Like, it's just amazing and to hear that roar is just incredible and I just can't wait to see where this league takes off. It's, it's just great to see like, you know, little NAB Oz kicks, boys and girls looking up and knowing that there's a foundation that they can play. Like I played all through junior footy with boys but now to know that there's an AFLW and they can play footy for the rest of their life is just so emotional and it's just been such a good day and I just can't wait to go celebrate it with the girls. You're going to get me crying in a I know. <laughs> emotional I watching it. Last year and, you know, a year on I'm sitting in AFL Guernsey. With, I love the elite environment. I just can't wait to see the next 10 years of footy. It takes me and my teammates and everything else. It's just going to go through the roof. You're a star. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Obviously, um... Yeah, emotional day. It makes me, um... Oh, I think I'd cry. Um... Oh, yeah, it's not good. Whew, I've got three premierships now. Um... Oh, my God. Oh. Um, yeah, just obviously playing footy my whole life. Um, yeah, footy... Footy meant everything to me, so obviously very emotional in the build up to that day. Yeah, it was packed, I remember that so clearly. Um, but yeah, just pure emotion of the, the first ever AFLW game that I played, and looking back, it still brings up those emotions. For, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it, Gil McLaughlin. <laughs> Gil McLaughlin, I've got it, these. Gil, Gil McLaughlin. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> if I was the AFL CEO for a day, I would have more women in the AFL workforce. Yeah, we, we need to see more women. It's fantastic to see. I mean, we have Chelsea Randall, who's now in the men's program working as a development coach. So it's, it's a great step, but hopefully we continue to see that sooner rather than later. The best part about playing football would probably be the teamwork. You know, you've always got to work together. It's not a one-person team, you know. You have your midfielders that have to work to your forwards and then you've got to transition back. Look at me. Work back in defence. <laughs> being with your mates and being able to come together each weekend and work hard to get a win, it's a really good feeling, yeah. Yeah, oh, the best part of like, playing footy, I think it's just... It's 360. You see people crunching packs, you know, kicking goals, celebrating. It's just a lot of fun and I enjoy training just as much as playing. So I'm just uh, graduated last year in year 12. So this year I'm doing a bit of part-time work and doing some TAFE work to hopefully one day get in the police force. I think I lasted two weeks in that TAFE course and I was like, not happening. I'm not prepared to sacrifice my footy to become a cop. I was a deli specialist, so I'm surprised I didn't say that. Slicing ham, love that job, so much fun. But yeah, that was that. Haven't studied since. <laughs> my favourite song is Dear Mr President by Pink. Oh, I love Pink, yeah. Oh, wild child. I hope that this is it, because I love that movie since it came out. <laughs> My favourite movie is Wild Child. Yes, I'm still, yeah. There's many of friends and teammates that I have made sit down and watch Wild Child. I, the, I don't watch movies or TV. I only watch Home and Away. Yeah. Love Home and Away, like get me on the show. So I probably model my game on Adelaide's Rory Sloan. Um, he's a gutsy midfielder. He always gets under the ball and has lots of courage, never gives up. I was, spoke very softly, didn't I? Can't wait to see him get back to, you know, fully fit Sloaney next season. But I love watching Paddy Cripps, just his ability to, I guess, win the contest um, and play tall. I love watching Tyler Hanks play. I think 
She's an A grader and I'd love to have her on my team and probably Georgia G as well. My toughest opponent will be Courtney Cramey, even though we're teammates. That doesn't make sense, does it? My toughest opponent that I've come across is last year at National, Jodie Hicks from New South Wales. Oh, there you go. Jodie Hicks now plays for Giants. Um, and Courtney Cramey is now my midfield coach and one of my best mates. So, yeah, I think the toughest opponent that I've come up against over the past couple of years is definitely Bree Davey. Just, yeah, she's just strong, powerful, skillful. My favourite footy memory would probably be back in Perth last year at Youth Girls Nationals. We came away with a Pool B Championships and also I received an All-Australian jumper last year, which was a pretty special moment for me. Each premiership has been unbelievable, but the moment of the 53,000 at Adelaide Oval in the 2019 Grand Final Day, I don't think, yeah, I don't think anything will top it. Just a pivotal day, not only for women's footy, but women's sport in general. I think just the NAB AFLW Rising Star, looking back on it and now knowing who have won it, like, you know, in elite, company with the likes of Izzy Huntington, Chloe Malloy, Maddie Press Parkers, Tyler Hanks. So to be within that group is pretty cool. That night was just, you know, Adelaide Crows wins this, wins that. I think it was just like amazing that what we had achieved, given the fact that there was a real feeling that we weren't going to get a license. That was nice to get that recognition, especially in the first year. God, what will I be then? I'll be 31, so hopefully, um, at my peak or getting to my peak, I'd love to be a full-time athlete by then. Yeah, playing for the Adelaide Crows, that would be the dream. I think that the NAB AFLW has achieved more, more than we could ever imagine. It's been pivotal um, in the shift of where women are seen, not only in sport, but in industry. So yeah, I still pinch myself that I'm living, living my best life, playing footy, traveling around the countryside and and playing the game that I love. Thanks to everyone that's, I guess, been on this ride with us to watch this back and um, yeah, I just feel very lucky. It's gone so quickly, but we've achieved so much as a league. So yeah, pretty amazing.